Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have an artificial brain update. Both full lengths on cassette. Labyrinth Constellation, which we have not gone over yet, but it will be blasting. And Infrared Horizon, which I picked up at the record release show at the Barbary in Philadelphia on clear vinyl. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the clear with the red, but uh, yeah. I love Artificial Brain, and when the chance came to own these bad boys on cassette, I um, traded a, it might have been, oh, a full hell long sleeve, and um, Fuck, what t-shirt was it? It was like an old, uh... It wasn't the Warriors. It was like an older, like, hardcore band. It, it definitely wasn't like American Nightmares. I, I wouldn't have... I would have obviously charged more for that. But I definitely have an American Nothing shirt. They were doing a tour with Coheed and Cambria, and uh, they had just gotten sued. But still were touring and got a batch of shirts that instead of saying American Nightmare just said American Nothing and then they also just had the AN Varsity hoodies and they like reprinted a couple of those just because it said AN but uh, they eventually ended up changing their name they give up the ghost and now they're American Nightmare again I don't know but if you like technical death metal that's also brutal and not boring, then you already love Artificial Brain and just don't know it yet. I love sci-fi themed death metal. I also just love me some Demulich worship and... Artificial Brain just manages to not only be one of the most brutal and technical bands on the East Coast, but maybe even the world as to me artificial bird like I got I saw them on tour with Demi Lich before and it was such a good fit alongside blood incantation I think twice I've seen them with uh, blood incantation and it's it's such a great combination like you know it just makes fucking sense and uh, these reissues on Lifeless Chasm Records, they're fucking amazing. Like, I love the Paolo Giarde artwork of Labyrinth Constellation and the Adam Burke artwork of Infrared Horizon. Both albums, like, you gotta love the Sad Robot, but, like, they're both just equally insane. This is, um, like, Ash Smoke. Clear, I don't know, badass. So this is on like green, but I love this fucking album. In Freight Horizons, like one of my favorite like death metal albums I own, and I listen to it all the time. Like, I mean, look, my LPs beat the fuck up. Like, I actually listen to my records, but like, I, I, that thing's been like. I had, I had that on me the whole first, like, uh, Decibel Metal and Beer Fest, and I made the mistake also of grabbing the LP before Artificial Brain sets even, even started. So, uh, yeah, I was getting, like, jumped on trying to protect my LP, and at the time I didn't have my tote bag with me. Tote bags are essential, people, like... Any friends of mine that are Kill Town Death Fest right now, be safe and get a tote bag. And you might end up thanking me when I save your records when somebody jumps on top of you. But, um, both albums I really feel are equally heavy. The songwriting's top fucking notch. And they're very atmospheric and whatnot and I think that really makes it something that you know kind of shouldn't exist like brutal death metal that's melodic 
like what? But no, this like 100% works. Like when they go into the, I, I call them like sad parts. Cause like, like listen to how sad this riff sounds. It's like dissonant and just cold. It's awesome. And Will's vocals are just in fucking insane. telling you, if you haven't heard fucking Labyrinth Constellation, get on that shit. I know these are sold out. They were actually extremely limited, like, in my opinion, a little bit too limited, but, like, look at how nice these are. I understand completely, and, like, tapes are very expensive. I, we just learned that with the um, Skeleton Proof Tanks full length. It was a lot more expensive than a demo cassette. I don't know if that's like just where we went, but like you're talking like over 50 minutes of music, so I kind of understand. But <laughs> Labyrinth Constellation in Freeze Horizon. Look at how sad that robot is. Total Demi Lynch worship here. I, I fucking love it. I love 
Adelbert's cover. Great sounding reissues. Great sounding and great looking reissues, courtesy of Life Chasm Records. Now, I don't know if any distros have these. I don't know if the band has these for their upcoming tour with uh, Inner Arma, which I don't have a fucking ticket for. I'm legit just gonna stand outside and like just listen. I, I don't give a fuck. Like I, I love seeing Artificial Brain live, and I, I honestly I don't know why I thought that show like wouldn't sell out. Like it's my own fault. I underestimated Inner Arma. I, I thought they had a smaller like fan base for some reason. Like they're really fucking good, but like nobody ever talks about them. But I guess they do, and I just missed out on the fucking memo. Because <laughs> I really like, you know, a Paradise Gallows. That record's fucking sick. But I also really like Labyrinth Constellation by Artificial Brain. Again, like, it's very hard to choose a favorite here. But, like, Labyrinth Constellation, I just feel is, like, a little bit heavier where it needs to be and just in Freight Hor Horizon it's just an all around great fucking death metal record but it just so happens to be technical and sci-fi based it's just fucking awesome I mean if you're not into that type of stuff whatever but like still I, I think it's worth your time cause it's all about the riffs it's all about the fucking inhuman vocals and if you've ever seen Artificial Brain Live, Artificial Brain Live lucky enough one of the last shows I got to see in 2020 was Blood Incantation, Dysrhythmia, Artificial Brain. Artificial Brain played some new songs. Holy shit. If they can drop their new record in you know the time frame of the end of the year they're sitting on album of the year material based off the couple, the handful of songs I heard live. I was just completely like, I went up to Will afterwards. He's like, oh, dude, I got fucking hot burn. I, I love, I, Will's the fucking man. Like, if you see him in like Buckshot Facelift, if you see him in uh, Artificial Brain Afterbirth, just go up and be like, yo, Will, dude. Like, Schnell said, yo, because I don't get to see him as much, and he's just one of those dudes I always try and, like, go out of my way to, like, let him know, like, yo, like, I fucking appreciate, like, you know, like, that set, like, you know, I had a good time, like, especially, like, you know, coronavirus was, like, first coming into, like, real, real life, like, and here I am getting on a fucking sold out like bus back and forth from Philly to New York and from New York to Philly, taking the subway from Brooklyn to Manhattan, walking from Manhattan to St. Vitus 
in 17 degree weather, not wearing a mask because, you know, we didn't, I, I remember seeing people wearing masks and being like, oh man, like it's getting serious and still not really thinking like, oh, you know, this is going to change everything forever. And that show was legit and I'm not just saying this. It was probably one of the best shows I've ever been to in my entire life. But I'll never forget, like, just, you know, getting to see Artificial Brain just fucking kill it. And just only three bands playing. Like, it was just such a fucking magical night and day. Cause like I was up at like fucking 3.30 in the morning. I had to catch like my bus at like five in the morning. That's what I mean. I, I had all this time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just walking to the venue and I underestimated the distance from Manhattan to Brooklyn. And it was worth it though. Like, you know, I didn't know what was to come, but uh, that was one of the best shows ever. And I'm forever grateful for all, all three of those bands for, you know, leaving that memory in my mind for the rest of my life, because that was seriously, not counting a King Diamond show, that was, like, probably, like, the best show I've ever been to, and, like, that's saying a fucking lot, like, seriously, that's, like, yeah, like, I'm putting you up there, like, past Black Sabbath, like, and shit, like, you know, you're going past sleep at a certain level. Like, just because it, 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 just that show meant so much to me on a personal level. And that sounds corny, but like, that's the thing that's awesome about death metal that has a little bit of heart to it some, somewhere down there. Artificial Brain will help you find it either with Infrared Horizon or Labyrinth Constellation. Again, I know these guys are going on tour, so. You know, you might be able to snag these on tour. I don't know if the, how many copies the band had. I think they only did 50 copies. I'm not a hundred. Dude, I really don't know off the top of my head the numbers. It's either 100 of each or it was 50 of each. But I got lucky here and somebody kind of tipped me off to the website. And I was like, ooh, fuck. Like, so I hit up my uh, friend that likes buying... Uh, old band t-shirts and uh she was like oh yeah like i'll i'll do that i'll like two two tapes for a long sleeve and like two t-shirts i think it was i think it was i think that's what it was but i don't remember i know for a fact that it was for that pink full of hell long sleeve i, I know that was part of the trade for these but um I know the LPs are expensive, Profound Lore, I don't know if they're doing reissues anytime soon, but they fucking should, especially with uh, Labyrinth Constellation, because I would love to have that on wax, but for now, I am very fucking happy to finally have both Artificial Brain full lengths on cassette. I should have grabbed the demo when it was in my hand, but hey, I needed to get home on the subway. But thank you to Lifeless Chasm Records for reissuing some artificial fucking brain. That's awesome. And uh, thank you for watching as always. You fucking rule. One more dollar for the stinker video. Hails.